Mmm, water. I'm back. So, people are screaming for help further on down the way. Can you say boss fight? Ish thing? Look! Please, help us! No, pay me. Yeah, we're gonna have to talk money. Look at the size of that thing! Don't worry, I think I can handle it. Exercise all you've learned, Dust. Send these foul creatures from this existence. <clears throat> yeah. And I leveled up. Motherfucker. No, wait! That's not all of them! Uh -huh. Here comes some more! Oh, fuck my life. Other effects. problems with smaller beasts, but this is the first time a giant has ever come this close to the village. Then the first step of your journey is near its end, Dust. The village lies just ahead. Yes, we arrived, and that's great. 
But what now? That has not yet been revealed to me. These people are safe, and that is what is important. Let us continue onward. Will you two be all right? <laughs> yes. I just need a moment to rest. I'm not sure how you did it, but you took down three giants single-handedly. Not a problem. That's what we do. Bringing justice to the weak and defenseless. Hey! Who are you calling weak? Ow. Did I get a second level up? No, I didn't. Ow, my face. Yeah, that wasn't even the first chapter. <laughs> now the game actually starts. Aurora Village! Hold it right there. Are they gone? I don't hear anything. If you're referring to the giants, I took care of them. They're dead? Yep. Thoroughly expired. They were no match for us. There's an older couple back there that could use some help, though. That must have been Oneida and her husband, Gian. Thank you. I we'll send help right away. So you're saying you just happened to show up at the right time, huh? I suppose. Interesting coincidence. Shut up, Dick. If you're suggesting I had something to do with this attack... Whoa, whoa, take it easy. I, I have to apologize for my big friend, Caleb, here. We're just a little overwhelmed, is all. What's been happening here? I guess you missed the endless hordes of bloodthirsty monsters on your way in. They used to stay in the mountains, away from the village. Now, they're attacking us on a daily basis. No one's been hurt yet. Uh, at least not until today. If giants are showing up near Oneida's farm, things are far worse than we thought. Speaking of which, where exactly do you come from? There's nothing west of here except crazy old Cora. We're, uh... Prospectors! We are prospectors! And we're out on an excavation to find, uh, ore deposits in the mountains! You know, gold, silver, um, mainly? Prospectors, eh? <laughs> You're certainly well armed for the job. Like you said, there are a lot of monsters out there. Well, we're indebted to you either way, so go on through. But I'm watching the two of you. Please, make yourselves at home. Uh, my name is Bean. There's not much here, but we do have a merchant if you need supplies. Thank you. We'll be on our way then. Thanks so much for your help. Uh, please, make yourselves at home. How are you two holding up? Don't worry about us. I'm in no rush to take on a giant, but I think we're in the clear. Uh, Please. I appreciate uh, the offer, but it's going to be a while before I can rest. I don't want to talk to this douche. That's an interesting outfit you're wearing. Oh, you're one to talk. Can your friend even see from under that hat? He can see. Everything. It's spooky, really. No reason to get defensive. Just trying to help. You really ought to be better equipped, in case anything else comes through here. Nonsense. I crafted this spear myself. Yes, it's very nice. All right, that's enough. Why don't you two leave me alone now? I'm tired of pointy thing to an end of a stick. Prospectors, fidgets. That was the best thing you could come up with? It was the first thing that popped into my head. It's not like you had anything better. Come on, let's get away from these guards. All right, Zara. Where to now? You're right where you need to be. The answers to your identity lie somewhere in this village. I know this place, and that's for certain. I'm sure I've been here before, but nobody seems to recognize me. And you, in turn, do not recognize them. Yet I feel there is something here that may yet trigger your memory's return. Maybe we should look around for a bit, then? If you really have been here before, maybe somebody will recognize you. That is a good idea, Fidget. 
Let us meet with the townspeople. I am certain that the next step of your journey will reveal itself in time. Very well. But something... something here is making me uneasy. Like the calm before a storm. Or maybe it's the fact that you only have one HP and I'm too much of a cheapskate to heal you. Ooh, quest! Why, hello there! I'm always thrilled to see a new face, even when it's all covered up like yours. Indeed. Well, my name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Hiya! Don't mind Mr. Grumpy. He's not big on the whole eye contact thing. Fidget and Dust, eh? Not from around here, are you? Well, neither was I originally, but this is a nice little place, if you're not in a hurry. Ah, where are my manners? I'm Augustine, local strongman. Say, you want to arm wrestle? Uh, some other time, perhaps. We're just passing through. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Thought you looked like the arm wrestling type. You know, I heard what you did back there for Oneida. Great stuff. Maybe we can help each other out? Maybe. What did you have in mind? I have an old friend, a blacksmith. Lives way up at the top of Archer's Pass. Hmm, really? I promised I'd deliver some materials to him way back when. But haven't been up that way in ages. Area's pretty dangerous these days, if you ask me. Maybe you could deliver them for me? Tell you what, if you help me out, I'll give you this blueprint. If you give it to him along with these spare materials, he'll set you on your way right quick. A blacksmith that can craft items from blueprints? I think I'll take you up on that, Augustine. Wow, that's great! I knew I could count on you! When you see him, just tell him that old Augustine says hello. Hmm. And then there's this asshole. Jess? Uh, good morning? Hmm. Is it though? I, well, I guess? He guesses. Wonderful. Well, perhaps you can guess that I really don't want to talk such drivel right now. Go, scurry off and leave me be. Okay, I gotta level up somehow. How the fuck that happen? It's like, yeah, you actually talked to this dickhead. Here, have a level of his compensation. Eh, I guess I'll actually get some fucking health. Oh, who are you? Hello. I don't believe I've seen you before. We just came in from the West. Ah, oh, so you're the one everyone is talking about. Everyone's talking? Of course. You're the one who saved Oneida. Uh, my name is Mosca, and I am at your service. If you need anything, just let me know. Say, are you, uh, are you staying long? I don't know. Hmm. Why do you ask? Well, if you ever find yourself heading east of the village, Maybe you could let me know if the roads are safe? Oh, they're far from safe. The town guards mentioned that monsters have been attacking all sides of the village. You're better off staying inside the walls for now. Well, see, here's my problem. I I've been meaning to visit someone in Denham. It's a small village on the edge of Abadi's forest. I imagine this someone is pretty important to you? Well, yeah. See, it's about a girl. Wow, surely she's worth the danger. Oh, she is. She definitely is. I just... I, I want to make sure she's okay. With all these monsters around, there's been no word from Denim at all. Mosca, if my travels take me there, I'll let her know you're thinking about her. Oh, thank you so much. You're great. You're really, really great. I'm getting experience just from talking to people? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, okay, I'm going to cut this video off early because there's still a lot more talking to go. So, I'm going to do that instead of having to cut off in the middle of conversation. Be right back.